Peter from Plumbing Express again. Just want to welcome you guys back. We're talking about, you know, some important plumbing things that you have going through your head because most of these are all questions that we're getting from customers and we want to give you guys a chance as the internet to get the chance to you know, learn a little bit more about plumbing so you can be more knowledgeable as you're contacting your plumber or even calling us. So a huge one that we get nowadays is tankless or no tankless. Seems like most of the uh, new builders now are putting in a lot of tankless water heaters. Really almost, we're doing very few tank water heaters except in remodels and stuff like that. So as a result, it, it becomes, what are we putting in? Tankless, electric, tankless gas, or are we possibly putting in uh, gas or electric tank water heaters? Well, they each have their pros and cons, and we want to make sure we walk through those with you because it's pretty important. It's not just, hey, I want to get the tankless because I want to be the cool kid on the block. It really is about how does it fit your situation. So, you know, these do have a lot of pros to them. One thing that's important is they are not new anymore. These have been around for a lot of years. I mean, we're talking about, gosh, over 50 years for some of these products being out there. And really, the electric tankless, believe it or not, were the first ones, and they go back even further than 50 years. The gas tankless are the newer. Now, when we talk about some of the big positives about this, the huge positive about any of the tankless systems is they're endless hot water. Now, make sure you pay attention. Some of the old manufacturers used to talk about instant hot water. It's not instant, it's endless. As long as on this model you have gas, electricity, and water flowing, and on this model you have electricity and water flowing, you're gonna have hot water coming out of it as long as you don't exceed the flow capacity, and that's where we're gonna get into the cons on those. So, a lot of times, like this one, it's made to be able to be placed outside. So not only is it that you get space back in your garage because it's smaller, like this one if it's placed in your garage, it's taking up a small amount of space, but it still has to be indoors because it's electric. But this is actually an exterior model of a gas one. So that means that it goes outside completely. You don't even have it in your garage or anywhere inside your house at all. One of the things you get with these as well is these can be much more efficient than your standard uh, electric and gas tank water heaters. So even the models that are not really the higher end models are still gonna be better for you in terms of efficiency than a, compar uh, a comparable lower end tank model. Now, they do have usually a slightly longer warranty for your gas tankless, not so much always for your electric tankless, but your gas tankless usually do have a slightly longer warranty than your standard tank type water heaters. So that's our pros on those but we do run into some cons. One that's right up front is cost. They are more expensive. Whether it's brand new or whether it's being added into your house as a remodel or retrofit, usually there's a much higher cost with this. So you can see on this one, it's a very small model. This is only made for like a two bathroom house, but it still has a fairly significant size electrical wire going to it. And the further away from the panel it is, the more expensive that gets. Now on the tankless gas models, they have to have a much larger size gas line going to them, usually, than your standard tank model. Now, some of that would have to be field verified by your plumber or your gas, uh, gas technician. But a lot of times, you're going to retrofit and have to add a different gas line to that that upsizes it or upsizes the pressure going to it to make sure it's handled that correctly. Now, one of the other things about these is there's a lot more parts that go into these as well. More parts mean more chances of failure. They do have longer warranties, which is nice but they sometimes are also more needing of that warranty than our comparable tank water heaters. So uh, one of the last things that we have in these as being a con is I did talk to you about endless hot water, but there is another factor you have in that, and that is how much water can it produce at one time. So on your gas tankless systems, the way that those work is if you call for more hot water than it can really actually make, it's gonna restrict the flow down. So you might have five showers you wanna run, but you're not gonna get enough water to run any of them whenever it's restricted down, trying to spit out a little bit of water for each unit. Now, on the electric tankless, those are gonna flow no problem. So you're always gonna have enough water. The issue is gonna be the elements can't heat the water up fast enough. So you might end up with five lukewarm showers, but you'd still have water at five of them. So that is one of the big pitfalls that you're gonna run into this when you're trying to size this for a bigger house. Um, or you run trying to put a smaller unit into a bigger, uh, a smaller unit in for a small house. Now, kind of like the gas size, like I brought up on this, you do also have the electrical, and that can be an expensive con if you're trying to add one of those in, and there's some distance between the electric panel and the actual unit. So those are our pros and cons of our tankless. Now let's move over to our tank. Now, we brought, of course, the best one we could in here. This is one of our Ream hybrid water heaters. 
Um, the really great thing about this one is it's super efficient, but not every tank water heater is. And as I brought up, your tankless units on average are going to have a higher efficiency than your electric and even your gas tank water heaters. But that's where one like this shines is this one actually will exceed any of the efficiencies of any tankless that's out there. So let's dive in again on all the pros that tank water heaters have. So a large uh, part that they have over these is they have a large capacity of stored water and that comes into play in two areas. One is, so at any given uh, time that you're gonna pull from it, it has the full capacity. So this is a 55 gallon model that they had. It is gonna be able to deliver, excuse me, a 50 gallon model they have. This is gonna be able to deliver a fairly substantial amount of water for you at one given run. So you can have those five showers on, won't be able to run for very long, but you'd be able to have them all at one time on drawing from this tank. The other thing that's nice, especially in areas that are prone to power outages, is when there is no power, not with gas, you're okay. But if there's no power going to this tankless unit, no hot water. But with this tank water heater, if we have a hurricane, there's an earthquake or anything like that, the power has to get shut down you have stored water in here that's gonna be able to be delivered until it's exhausted. So a nice aspect of that is even if, and we did have this recently, is we had some folks that during the hurricanes, they lost power, they were out for a couple days, but they still had hot water when they rationed it for several days because these units are so well insulated. And that's any of the tank units. So it will hold that capacity and hold it for a certain uh, you know, given period of time. Now I brought up the efficiency. Now again, Regular tank water heaters, so your builder grade ones and your mid-levels, they're not going to have the efficiencies really to get to like an Energy Star rating. But on the other hand, ones like this, and it has a label down here on the bottom for you, this is Energy Star rated, and that's important. Uh, not only is it because it's more efficient for you, which is going to be a helpful savings, at given times that might uh, give you rebates back from your power company or even from the federal government. Regular water heater, Regular tank, you're going to look about a six-year warranty on that. With your hybrid, you go all the way up to 10. But Rheem and a few other manufacturers, specifically Rheem, because we like using their product, we think it's a great product, and they, they really strive to make good product for the consumer. But they also have a 12-year model that we really recommend and we have a lot of really satisfied customers with. They love the extended warranty on it, but it also comes with a few other features on there. One, again, this is a hybrid, so it's not quite the same, but it has a digital readout on there. It's going to give you your temperature reading. It's also going to give you a diagnostic. So it's going to be able to tell you some of the problems that can be happening with the water heater before you ever actually even have to call in to us to talk to us about it. And it helps us diagnose it from afar so we can make sure that we bring you the correct uh, parts out to get it repaired. Now, a lot of their higher end ones from Ream also come with what's called Econet. Now, that is what's a smart system, and it allows it to be able to connect into your Wi-Fi in your home. And yes, it does allow you as the homeowner to be able to have some different functionality. You can change the temperature and stuff like that when you're away. You can turn it on and off when you're away. But more importantly, it can be able to make it so that we can connect in remotely and be able to get diagnostic from the water heater as well. And Ream does make some special items with theirs as well. Uh, they have water heater, tank water heaters. Again, some of their higher end ones that come with both a leak detector, they call it leak sense, and some of them also even come with what's called leak guard. And that's a protection device that if it senses that water has come out of this and gone into a pan or anywhere near the bottom, it's actually gonna shut the water off going into it to help protect it from just becoming a big hazard and getting water all over maybe your garage or worse yet, if you have it in uh, like a second or third floor, just filling that up and running down through the floors. All right, now the more special ones they do have a few more moving parts, just a few more parts overall. It can go bad. Obviously, just like we talked about on the tankless, more parts mean more chances of having issues. But overall, tank water heaters have been around for a long time. And even though in the heat pump, there's some extra components up here at the top that are going to potentially have issues, this again has a 10-year warranty on it. So there's a lot of protection from there being issues, and they're going to back you up on that. But even their six-year models, there's very few parts to that. It makes it so they run very well for long periods of time, usually with not a lot of maintenance being done to them. Warranty wise, most of the time, your tank listers are gonna be better, but they do make some of the tank models that actually get right up there and are comparable to the tankless warranties. And those are for the whole unit. So again, six year is kind of your standard. Then they make 10 year models. And then we actually have one that, that's not a hybrid, that's a, a efficient uh, regular tank type, but it does have digital controls and stuff on it and it goes all the way up to a 12 year warranty. So 
talking about the, that's all the pros on that, but what are we gonna talk about when we talk about cons? Well, on a standard electric, you're gonna get the benefit of a fairly low entry price on that. When we talk about going to the best things that are out there, the most efficient, you are gonna run into a much higher cost. But the great thing about these is because they are so efficient, the hybrids specifically, they begin to pay you back almost immediately. Here in Florida, we look at a fairly considerable savings month to month over what you had been paying in electrical. But one of the things that you can see compared to these two is this takes up a lot more space than this. Hey, you might want to stick that one extra bag of golf clubs in your garage. This thing is going to potentially be the way to go. This is going to take up a little too much space for that. But if you're talking about trying to reach the most efficiency, trying to be able to have the most stored capacity, you're going to look at something like this. Now, the last thing we look at on a con, on a, on a con for a tank water heater is you still do, when we talked about the capacity earlier, it's a great thing because you do have it as stored if you don't have electricity. One of the downfalls of this is you only have a given amount of capacity. So once I tap out the 50 gallon uh, capacity that's in here, and it's not even truthfully an exact 50 gallons because you have drawdown on that. But once you tap out whatever the size is that's on these, you unfortunately are going to have some recovery time. It's not going to be able to keep up with just continual usage like your tanklesses are. Now, for a given amount of flow, if you want a lot of flow at one time, you have to go with a tank system. But if you're just looking for a long, continuous flow, your tankless is the better way to go. So that gives you guys a lot of pros and some cons for each of these different systems. I hope you guys found that informative. If you did, don't forget, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the like button for us, and don't forget, Peter with Plumbing Express, help can be on the way.